Hey, it's Cat of Cat Tales to me. I'm outside the courthouse where it's been a crazy day. The uh, Tory Lane's case, we had a long break for lunch that lasted for an hour, waiting for the jury to come back in, and we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know if there was a juror that was going to be cut or there was a problem with the witness. But supposedly, Megan's bodyguard, former bodyguard, is missing in action. The last time anyone heard anything about him, allegedly he was in Qatar um, with the World Cup, but the prosecution can't find him. But EJ, Megan's former stylist, took the stand, really didn't have much to say except he didn't really want to be there. But you have to understand, anybody connected with this case, nobody wants to lose a possible job opportunity by telling the truth. There seems to be a problem with people being direct saying what actually happened. But one thing EJ did say was they were drinking a lot of bottles that day at Kylie's party, several bottles. So we're talking premium liquor for several hours. Anything could happen afterwards. Um, yeah, by the way, Harvey Weinstein, that case is interesting because the jury was split um, I think he got three felonies of rape and then there was other accounts that were not agreed upon and it was a split like a 10 to 2 split and an 8 to 4 split on some of the other felonies so Harvey was found guilty on some I don't want to say innocent in others but the jury's coming back tomorrow to they have to do some uh, deliberation in the month themselves to figure out like what the penalties are going to be. But yeah, today's been crazy. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but there's a lot of strange things going on with this courtroom. Um, I don't understand what they're doing. Sometimes it's not doesn't seem to be fair the way they're doing things. Um, it's unprofessional, and uh, you don't want to be in court because you don't know what kind of jury you're going to get and what kind of shenanigans the prosecution or might do. The other thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of lawyers, like when you're waiting in the hallway for, uh, for a case, there's lawyers talking to clients, trying to get them to plead. And I actually was sitting by a man who spoke only Spanish and he had to have a translator. And his attorney was trying to get him to take a plea deal. And he was saying repeatedly, I didn't do it. Why do I have to take a plea? And they're like, but you, if you don't take the plea, you're going to have to come to court like several times and you can't be late and blah, blah, blah. But the lawyer was trying to definitely push him in taking the plea. And the interpreter was explaining it to him that he would have to take like 13 weeks of uh, anger management. And he kept repeating, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Why do I have to say I'm guilty? So I just want to say as an observer, minding my own business in the hallway. There's a lot of attorneys trying to get people of color to take plea deals, and they may be innocent. So that's something to, to take a look at. Again, you don't want to come to court and have some juror or jury put your life in their hands because sometimes you're innocent and the police or the prosecution wants to put you away seriously i don't know what's going on with this megan story because it just seems like a lot of people that used to work for her don't work for her anymore and the way they're talking about she might have been so drunk she could have shot herself we don't know nobody seems to tell the truth about what actually happened were they on booze plus drugs but they were drinking for several hours and i don't think the prosecution can prove their case against tory saying that he absolutely shot Megan, because actually it doesn't make sense. Why would he shoot Megan? She was going to take him to a record company. But, like, I don't know, because no one's selling the truth. I, the one truth is no one's selling the truth. So this is Cat, Cat Tales TV. Check out my other videos. And uh, this phone is going nuts because I've been doing so many fucking videos, and the memory's down. So anyway, uh, check out my other videos and my other court cases because I've done a lot. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.